dun, dun, dun. One, two, a one, two, three. She don't like her eggs all runny She thinks crossing the legs is funny She looks down her nose at money She gets it on like the Easter bunny She my baby, I'm her honey Never gonna let her go Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, get along home. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, I'll marry you someday. Good morning, guys. Guess nasan kami? We're here in Brian's old house. Dito kami sa bahay niya, dati niyang bahay. Um, sabi niya, he was living here for eight years, sabi niya. Later, we are going to tour you around. Ganyan yung view. Ayan, ganda. Down below is the main road to Brisbane. Brisbane is somewhere out there. Layo. And then Cairns, of course, is that way somewhere. 
It's been raining here for a few days, and apparently it's a um, it's a high rainfall also. That's why everything is green. Yan, ganda ng garden, no? Beautiful garden. Tapos yan siya, jacaranda tree. And also, there's a lot of birds in here. You probably can hear it from the distance. Ang ganda ng bahay niya, no? It's very quiet here. You can, we can hear a little bit of the highway. That's a whipping bird I can hear in the distance. It's gorgeous, guys. And I can hear another bird. It's like a... There's a lot of birds here. I think it's a crow. It might be a crow. Morning! Morning, guys. Here we are at Gildora, my old house at... I sold to Andy in India. They're looking after it really well. It's very beautiful. And um, yeah, just gonna go down to the chooks. They've got chooks down the back here, but as you can see, down here they've got lemons growing, big lemon bush. And um, the bow and mangoes were already here. Oh, it's just bowing. Wow. Yeah. So, I thought it's just the ordinary mango. That's beautiful. Yeah. And um, I've got a little vegetable garden. Happy down here. Wow. Mangoes. Yummy. Oh, that's like, some nice um, Bok choy or, I don't know. Big bok choy. Eggplant. Bok choy. Bok choy. Some eggplant. And the avocados. There's a couple of little avocados on the <laughs> avocado tree. Oh, some down there. And the chicken is in the... I can hear them. Okay, so um, this is where Andy and uh, India check their eggs. So you can have a look in here. Oh, oh. we got two eggs. Oh, we've got some eggs in here. Fresh farm eggs. Put this on here to keep the... So that they don't fly out. away. And now up. And the hill there, you can see a studio that Andy and India have built. Um, but also on this property, there's a lot of beautiful um, trees. This is a silky oak tree. Um, something robusta, I think the name. Um, but yeah, they're right on a mountain here. And you see the mountains over the other side. And this... Um, Pontiana tree flowering nicely, common mangoes. But yeah, it's a um, beautiful, beautiful place. You miss this place? Nice yeah, to be of back. Yeah, no, of course I miss it. Um, it was part of my life for eight years uh, living here, and Jake grew up here, mm -hmm. and um, my stepkids um, would come up here. Uh, and help doing things here and enjoy spending time here with us um, in the garden and establishing the, the farm. The shed here, the, the, um, I built that, constructed that um, shed. garage, uh -huh. two door, two carport garage. Up here is... Um, Jake's old caravan from Pomona. We put the caravan up under the mango trees. These are, uh, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six mango trees here, bowen mangoes, which uh, you saw just before, the, the beautiful mangoes. And so that was uh, Jake's accommodation yeah, in Pomona. Yeah, at Pomona. It just got used for, for when uh, friends or family come up with somewhere to stay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. This is an old uh, tractor wheel rim that I found in Ammermoor Creek. And uh, Martini and I, um, we dragged that up here and used that as a fire, fire pit at night time. Sit out here. 
with the fire. Um, yeah, so this was a water feature, rainwater tanks. The top one I installed, Andy's added more tanks up the top. Um, but yeah, he's done a lot. Andy and Andy have done a lot here. He's built this studio up the hill. Beautiful bromeliads here and the bird's nest in there. And another red bromeliad. Look at his grandfather's beard. Like, Beautiful, eh? Unbelievable. Oh, my beard's <laughs> getting grey. <laughs> so he's pterosaur this area. He's got water pipes, rainwater running into this tank off of the roof. And this is this is uh, a dam. I had a machine come up in here and he put this terrace in, a few terraces, and he also dug this out for a dam. But the soil here wasn't very good for holding, holding water. water. Uh huh. So, um, but yeah, it's just a nice spot. Looking out into the valley. Yeah, you can see the mountain, mountain just goes up. It's just all rock. So this is the view. Uh, Beautiful view then um, the Mary Valley down there. Mm -hmm. So this is the view. That's the Mary Valley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's looking out towards Dagan and Kandanga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, looking down there, back down on the old Queenslander. Um, yeah, Andy's had some solar panels put on the roof for water and for power. Um, but yeah, it's just. Uh, this property is so unique that it's you've got the bottom level there and then you've got all these different terraces and and then it comes up to the house platform and because it's built in the cleavage of this mountain um, you're just protected from the wind you don't get the westerly and it's just a beautiful place to live you know um, so isolated and uh, quiet and yeah very beautiful so when I settled here was in um, probably late um, 1999 98 um, and I planted these trees uh -huh. this is a blue kwandong planted those trees yeah this is a rainforest tree I forget what tree that is but uh, there's a carambola five star fruit there I planted and this kwandong I, I planted which is probably I don't know now um, 2000 so 20 years ago that's mm -hmm. a 20 year old growth the things just grow so well here the soil is so beautiful and red I've been planting more grevilleas. They've got a grevilleas all down the front. And, uh, yeah, you can see the iron I put on top of the um, caravan just to waterproof it. But, yeah, my, my son Jake lived in that caravan. This is coming back down the hill. Pretty sure that leopard tree was here. I'm not sure, I might have planted that one there too. Um, this was a favourite stargazing platform, sitting up there at night, just looking up at the stars. There used to be a rainwater tank here on the stand. Mm-hmm. Uh, but That's they removed beautiful. it and put an underground tank in here and uh, we've got a nice outdoor bath and shower set up here now where you can have a he says that they get a champagne and sit out here and look at the stars and have their bath nice hot bath with the hot water coming off the solar hot water system and he built himself on the roof so a mandarin mandarin tree so yeah the snakes used to climb up this mandarin tree and get onto the roof so yeah um this section here we built and put a barbecue there and um, we also put retaining wall, stone retaining wall there. Jake's mother 
built all the retaining walls around here. Very little help from me. Um, so that was a credit to her. And look at this beautiful flower. There's so much beauty here. So uh, this veranda I built, there was no veranda here, there was just windows in this section. But I took the doors off from another room in the house, so you had French casement doors leading off the main bedroom. And um, this is the, the view you've got from uh, this veranda, uh, looking down the Mary Valley, you can see Karoi Mountain, the pointy one, and Pomona is the, the round shaped mountain. And um, this is your road coming in down the bottom. So yeah, just uh, a beautiful part of the world. Hi guys, we just left Brian's uh, old house, and we are now going to. And we're now going to um, Jeff and Eli, friends of uh, mine that live in Kandanga, and um, they're lovely people too. So it's a good time catching up with everyone. Thank you so much guys for watching and we will...